Well, hello. I am here with Tahira Goldson of Mason Inspired Bowie. Um, very excited to hear about all that you're doing. I understand that you are a brand new tutorial that's opening up. So please tell us all about you. We're, we're waiting to hear. Tell us. Uh, awesome. So um, Mason Inspired Bowie, the name comes from um, an educator, Charlotte Mason, mm -hmm. um, who uh, was practicing her craft or her theory um, about a hundred years ago um, in the UK. Um, but she used an approach that even today globally is um, being used and implemented in different ways. Um, so she um, had two pillars I think that are most, she's most famous for, although I think she, ha she has volumes and volumes of work about what education should look like, right? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But the two things that I think stand out the most are um, one, um, that we stepped away from kind of textbook heavy learning and more from um, rich literature or living books is living the term books. that she used, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So um, that we could learn and we could learn about geography and we could learn about um, history, right? Mm -hmm. Through books that were engaging and not necessarily um, like one paragraph or one page synopsis of our entire humankind. Um, so that was one that I think parents really are attracted to. Um, and it also helps if develop a love of learning and that was a big part of Charlotte Mason. Um, but the second pillar I think that she um, also is really known for is nature study, right? Mm -hmm. um, and just that time to be able to get outside, especially in the early years. Um, and that's something that I think even though she was doing a lot of this and innovating it a hundred years ago, right? That that's something that's innovative now that we're starting to return to just to realize the big loss from not spending as much time outside, not being able to recognize plants and animals and sounds of nature. Um, and then therefore not being able to know when things are going a little bit wrong, which mm -hmm. is something that folks are really, we need folks in that field of study even now. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. That is yeah. wonderful. So tell us, who is your target audience? What grades, what age? Oh, levels? awesome. Mm -hmm. So we are for ages 5 to 12. Wonderful. Um, we have two inter-age classrooms. Mm -hmm. um, and um, the goal is for no classroom to be more than 50% of the same age, right? Okay. We have a classroom A and a classroom B um, where um, we do multi-subject um, mm -hmm. teaching with one um, dedicated teacher and then parent aides that rotate throughout the, um, the semester. Wonderful. Okay. So now where do we find you? Where do you guys, where oh, are you? Awesome. Mm -hmm. So we are located at 197 and 450 in okay. Bowie. Um, so uh, in the same building as math, et cetera. Um, oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Um, so we found it was a really central location. We're not, although we're called Mason Inspire Booty, you don't have to be a Bowie resident <laughs> in sure. order to participate or to join. <laughs> um, the main thing that we saw is um, we wanted to make sure that we, we were both a tutorial and a cooperative. Mm -hmm. um, so with the cooperative, it's parents getting together, working together to make sure that we have a common interest in our child's education. Um, mm -hmm. But the tutorial aspect is more hands-on, that parents are mm -hmm. actually in the classroom or participating directly. Um, and it does not require, we don't require that parents necessarily take the lead and teach courses, which is the makeup of a lot of tutorials. Okay. But because we're nature study rich, um, some of that has to do with supervising outdoors. Some mm -hmm. of that has to do with um, assisting in class and a lot of prep for um, stations and independent learning. Sure, sure. That yeah. sounds so wonderful. I love the hands-on nature of that as well. It sounds mm -hmm. like it's just a wonderful opportunity. And again, you guys are brand new. So we're really That's excited right, yeah. for you. We're excited for you. So really quickly, I know we're, we're running a little bit out of time, but just tell me what inspired you? What gave you that vision for oh, doing awesome. this? So there are a few books that I've read that um, really just um, sound like they're written now, although they were written a long time ago. One of them is Frederick Douglass's narrative. Yeah. And when he talks about kind of the woes of classism mm -hmm. and regionalism and mm -hmm. um, exploiting workers, it all kind of resonates now. When I was reading Charlotte Mason, it was resonating as well. There's definitely this move towards mindful parenting. Mm -hmm. um, yes and um, not stepping away from corporal punishment. And it was something she was writing about then because that was happening, that we were moving away from that and more towards um, treating children as people, mm -hmm. which should not be a novel idea. <laughs> exactly, right? Hello. Right? 
<laughs> but, um, but of course it is. And because most of us were not raised with that paradigm, right? The thinking mm -hmm. that I should be able to have a conversation and listen to the feelings of a three, four and five year old. Um, it's hard for us to pull that out of the sky, right? So having a template, a paradigm, um, uh, just a, a rule book um, mm -hmm. or a guidebook more, mm -hmm. to be able to set that as a template is great for parenting, but definitely great for education and fostering lifelong love of learning. So um, Charlotte Mason and just the way that she has been ad adapted all over the world by so many different cultures mm -hmm. um, and demographics lets me know that it's um, a, a sustainable model to go ahead and bring to Bowie in, in the way that we're doing it. I love it. Well, thank you so much for just sharing the incredible things that you guys are doing. I'm just so excited. I can't wait to hear because I know there's going to be so much buzz about what you guys are doing. So thank you so much for just sharing what you do. Um, we're going to have folks, if you, if, people want to get in touch with you of course we're going to have your links is there any last minute thing you want to give us as we close out oh no so I just I think um, I'm really excited about the homeschool fair format and that you get to sample so many different things so I think um, the great thing about being in charge of your child's education is you can kind of choose what works for you and nothing has to be one size fits all so I just want to thank um, bridge tutorial for hosting the homeschool mm -hmm. fair yeah it's, it's our pleasure. It's our pleasure. And thank you for just what you do and what you're going to be doing for so many families. Thank you so much. We appreciate having you. Um, everyone just click down below for the links so that you can get in touch with Mason Inspired Bowie. Thank you. Thanks again. Hello, everyone. Um, my name is Tahira Goldson, and um, this is a chance for me to tell you a little bit more about Mason Inspired Bowie. Um, it's a homeschool cooperative and a tutorial that's opening in uh, Bowie, Maryland this fall. I wanted to take a moment, um, since we are, are experiencing the great disruption, um, to talk about four things we can do right now to enhance our child's education. And this is whether you consider yourself a traditional homeschooler, a working homeschooler, um, or a crisis schooler. Um, these are things that can be easily incorporated without a lot of um, pain. Um, and it can be incorporated in increments, so it's not something that's overwhelmingly adding to your to-do list. Um, so all of these ideas are taken from the school of thought that Charlotte Mason created um, as an educator uh, in the UK almost 100 years ago, but are super re relevant now um, as indicated by her inspiring just a nationwide movement, um, I'm sorry, an international movement that has endured, right? Um, so, number one of the four things you can do right now if you'd like to have your child have a more Mason-inspired education. Um, number one, education is a feast, so set the table. Um, introduce your children to the most vibrant music, art, books, foods, history, um, and outdoor settings um, early and often. This is really great when we're stuck at home because a lot of us have a music collection, we have a video collection, we might have... Um, CDs that we haven't broken out in a long time, we can begin by introducing our children to our favorites and begin to give them a context that's not just music, art, books that came out um, in their lifetime, but things that you really have a connection with. The most important thing is not that they love all of the music that you love, although they'll like a lot of it. Um, the most important thing is to demonstrate what it looks like to have a connection with art. So number one tip for um, a more Mason-inspired education at home during this time, education is a feast, so set the table. Number two, read aloud to your children, um, even the older children. Um, this is really great um, during this time. It's an opportunity for um, folks who we cannot see in person to be able to still maintain their connection with our young people. So whether it's grandparents um, who are out of state or who are quarantined, um, whether it is um, your children who are readers being able to read um, to loved ones over the phone, it doesn't have to be long, 10, 15 minute increments. You can decide for them to read to them um, and have that be a Zoom call or a phone call um, and super low tech and hard to, um, hard to get frazzled by the technology required, but really invaluable. If that is not an option or not an option frequently, because I know a lot of us are multitasking while we're at home, um, you can download the audiobook apps like LibriVox, Overdrive, or Audible 
um, that will read aloud. Um, and you can decide, hey, this is a dedicated quiet time that um, the family and I will listen to these particular classics um, for 10 minutes or maybe 15 minutes. It's okay if your child is not sitting in place um, still during the read aloud, they should be able to roam, they should be able to sit in a weird way, they should be able to color. Um, but some of it is sinking in and it's encouraging a love of um, storytelling and of, of great literature. Okay, so of the four things, number one is set the table. Number two is read aloud to your children, even the older ones. Number three, use chapter books early on instead of just picture books. Um, this is one of Charlotte Mason's pillars that seems like a no brainer, but it's something I wouldn't have thought about if I hadn't been studying um, Charlotte Mason. So in our household, some big favorites have been Charlotte Webb, Charlotte's Webb, 101 Dalmatians. Um, while you're at home, you don't, you may have classics around the house or great stories, um, but you also have access to books that are in the public domain. Um, if you are looking online, you can usually find the PDF or a Kindle version of books that have been around a while, like um, the Wizard of Oz series or Little House on the Prairie, books that are written at a high quality of literature, um, but that are really accessible. Um, again, doesn't have to be huge increments of time. It can be 10 or 15 minute breaks. Um, and you don't have to uh, worry about how much of it your child is digesting. It really is just beginning that love of literature um, and of storytelling. Okay, number one, set the table. Number two, read aloud to your children. Number three, use chapter books instead of um, just picture books. Um, oh, I wanted to show you one book that we've been using. It's not classic literature, but this is a book that um, we already had around the house. It's called Women of the Wild West, Biographies of Many Cultures. Um, and it's a book that we have. It's a part of a set. Um, and we, we just have been reading it as a chapter book um, and it has a few pictures. It's written at a level that um, is fairly easy to digest. So it's not just the books that um, are on all of the book lists. It may be things that you already have on your bookshelf that are a little less known but valuable. Okay, number four, go outdoors. Now this is a tricky one um, in our time, but I do think that we have to keep in mind that um, our neighborhood counts, our front yard counts, our backyard counts, um, even when we're going on walks in fairly an urban setting, getting used to the outdoors is a key, key part of um, just Charlotte Mason ideology. Um, but it's also been proven by so many studies and just by um, history, right, to be super helpful to our mental health. And that's something that's also super important during this time, right? Um, I think it's really important it, as a sidebar to this to note that, you know, all weather that's not dangerous is weather that you can go out and take a walk in. You can invest in $10 rain boots um, for your kids, um, maybe a little bit more for us, but it's, it's not a huge investment that will allow them to not um, come home drenched um, and, and to be able to go in puddles and mud without a lot of anxiety. Um, we may not even know in our area, in our backyard, looking out our windows, um, what wildlife is around us? What are the names of the trees that are in our yards, in our neighbor's yards? What are the names of the birds? What are the names of um, the shrubbery, the flowers that are around? One book that we love to use because it's very well illustrated is um, Nature Anatomy by Julia Rothman. Um, this one has a ton of pictures. So we'll maybe look at a few of the pictures. We're very um, informal in the way that we approach it. And, um, and then we'll take a look and see if maybe we'll see some of these. Well. Of course, it goes into depth with a lot of wildlife, but mostly we're focusing on birds and plants right now. So you don't necessarily need a special nature guide. Um, you can sit outside in the backyard and draw some of the things that you see, but whatever it is, you can take 10 minute breaks, 15 minute breaks with your child um, and not necessarily have to entertain them or talk, but just listen or just draw together or just go for a walk um, to take in nature. So your four tips, set the table, Read aloud to your children, even the older ones. Use chapter books and not just picture books. And then um, get outdoors as much as we can with the restrictions um, that are in place. Um, so thanks so much for listening. My name again is Tahira Goldson. And I was sharing four things you can do right now for your child to have a more Charlotte Mason inspired education um, as um, just a way to begin to interact um, for our cooperative um, Mason-inspired buoy. Thanks again.